Welcome to Delicate Dark Girl. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's talk and get into it. Glasses off. Should have put these in before. New contacts. Ooh, look at that. And then, of course, a little bit of Carmex. Let's begin. We're going to start in a different order today. You know how I do my eyebrows first? We're just going to comb them. Otherwise, it'll bother me. It'll batter me. Let's bring you closer. Today, I have three choices for foundation because we're going to start with foundation first instead of eyebrows, like I was saying earlier. I have Pat McGrath, Fenty, and Julia's Place. Let's pick one of these foundations, should we? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Okay. Look at Martin Shea with black hair. I just <laughs> don't even know him. Fenty Beauty, this is in 450 on this channel if you've been here a while. Hey guys, you would have seen that video where I was getting ready for something and I was talking about the things I bought and one of them was Fenty Beauty, the hydrating one when it was new at the time and the lady matched me with 480 and my sister was like, 480 is great and I was like, okay, I don't know, I thought I was 460 and I was like, 480 can't be that bad, everyone said it was alright and it looked alright and then we got it home and it was a little too dark and I was just like, no oh, darn, but I kept it. Oh, primer time. I'm going to talk about that while I put primer on my face. Like, let's learn to multitask. Choices, choices. Elf or Smashbox? This was another ringer. I really like this primer. I had a hard time finding it in the store lately, but I use this one like every day for every little thing, even sometimes when I'm just putting, you know how I put foundation just under my eye, I'll use this under my eye. Moving on. I went back earlier this year and got um, this color, and they matched me with 450, which in my head... <laughs> In my head, I was like, y'all, like, <laughs> this is way too light. I just thought it was way too light, but although, I think because the undertones is what confused me, because it was red, I thought it was maybe lighter than I expected, but it wasn't. Um, I burned myself the other day. See that spot on my hand? It still hurts when I touch it. Ta-da! I want to see what 460 is talking about because that's, you know, my original pick. And I'm not dissatisfied with 450. It's just, I don't know. I want to see what 4, 460 is talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So that was two pump. But you guys should see how big the pumps are. Maybe I should have shown you. So that's how big I pump. This is the residual from earlier. But that's how big I pump. And if I need more, I get more. I just, I, I'd rather pump a little and pump continuously than pump a really big amount and then have to wipe it all away. Since I like foundation so much, I feel like, no. Oh. For other people, that might not be a waste because they're just like, whatever, to get it used or to get it thrown out when it's expired, you know, so. For me, I just, because I like foundation so much, I'm like, aw, I don't want to throw it away. <laughs> so I like to try to use it up without letting any go. <laughs> I'll just get under the chin there, up into this part, like right where my sideburns are. And makeup, done. Look at that. Should I bring you in so you can really see this finish? Smelly. Hmm. It is a very nice evening. It doesn't have the most coverage, as you can still see. My mole. We use that as the gauge around here. How much coverage something has. But you also have to think about the fact that I put on a very thin amount. Because that's kind of how I like to put on my foundation as a, like, 
a base evening kind of thing and like a color color correcting <laughs> kind of thing so now it's got like a fleshy little rosy color so um, thanks so I really like the Fenty Beauty Hydrating one I really want the matte one that's very soft I want to see how that works I think that would be a very good idea for now when you need things that won't smudge too much on your mask and stuff all right moving forward we're gonna move the actually we're gonna keep this close <laughs> how do you feel I love when October starts to come around because that movie channel I'm just cleaning off the eyebrush I want to use the movie channel um, it starts to play a lot of vintage and just older suspense and scary movies mo horror movies from the 50s and 60s and stuff I find them very good just for posterity anyway but if you just let your imagination go while you're watching those movies I just feel like there's a little more imagination now our brush is clean so today's colors I want them to hello today's colors this is in the the um, number 20 matte so it's a little bright but I use it as a bright nude oh the brush is still wet I hate when I do that. But I dry, dry. Anyway, today I want to go for a very, um, what's it called look? A very fall look. And, I know I don't like believe in like fall colors and stuff, but I kind of do. <laughs> when I said that, it just meant that I feel like you can wear fall colors any time of the year. But there is a feeling, isn't there? Like, kind of matching yourself to the season. I can understand that, and I appreciate it, so. I'm going to go ahead and do that today. And I almost, I'm thinking more of warm, warm-toned colors. There, base done. You can see the difference from, oh! I was going to jump back and go into eyebrow. I'm going to use the Auto Eyeliner in Dark Brown. And we're just going to... Okay, this is NYX. My brow gives me a soft, natural looking brow. My eyelids are so swollen so right now. What was I talking about earlier? Movies and all kinds of stuff. I was just going blah blah blah. I have a year the new Vian too. It's my most favorite. And as I stated a long time ago, it could be seen as the most fall palette of all of my palettes and of most of the Juvia's palettes, to be honest. If you're really looking for a good fall palette, here's one. And that's another thing. I feel like I don't wear enough gold because at one point I used to, I was like tired of gold. Gold was everywhere and I was just like, ah, oh, not gold. But I want to wear gold. So anyway, today we're going to wear gold. We're going to start with that same brush that I put that brown on. We're going to go into Morocco. Should I move you in for my eyes? Does anybody else like that though? Does anybody else sometimes just get into certain kinds of colors and that's like all you want to wear? I remember last fall, I gotta use a different brush. Last fall, there we go. Woohoo! Last fall, I um, was like totally into. Um, this dark brown lip and I wouldn't let it go I was like really kind of obsessed <laughs> this fall I don't know what I'll be into but right now I'm just trying out this thing hmm this is 
a little more orange than I wanted it to be. It's actually looking for something a little more red orange. Hmm. and orangey, more orangey than I wanted this to be, but here we go. So on the top we're going to use the, uh, but on the bottom we're going to use, who are you? Nefertiti. Nairobi is a good gold, but I thought these two would go better together, like this gold is a little more orangey, so it would go better with that copper, and the copper will go better with this orange, so. But first, I wanted to try something. Boom. Let's look at it. Look at my little eye. Beep, beep. It looks completely different now, right? I usually don't rim it all the way to the inside, but I did. <laughs> let's go into, let's put the sparkle on the lid. Hi. to get some layers of sparkle. This is just a base shimmer. Mm -hmm. I think that's really pretty. In a spree, number 36 glitter. It's got silver and gold in it. There it is. So now we're layering it to get just a different kind of sparkle to layer. You see that? So this is the one with Innisfree. And this is the shimmer by itself. It's a very smooth shimmer too. But Innisfree gives it another layer of sparkle. Like layering some sparkles can give your eye look a little bit of oomph. And I just center it in the middle. Okay. Take that up closer to the brown bone. Just that part. Ta da! Mmm! Thanks, Miss P. Mm -hmm. Thanks, y'all. I'll lift it. That's y'all and Miss P together. And then, now, we, where is it? We use our tiny little sponge here. And we'll go into the Nefertiti. And we'll just. First of all, put some heel. Kind of heel. Oop. Not too far down. It's okay. I'm gonna go under it like that. Now it's got a little color. Yeah. Actually, take a little up like this to kind of connect them so it's not just sitting there by itself. Hmm. I like it. It feels really fall. Let's get an eye line on that eye. So we're gonna use this, of course. I'm actually gonna start higher than where I usually start. I usually start about here. I'm gonna start up here. think it's better for my eyes the way they set back sometimes is just the the bottom eyeline list and really highlight it so it can kind of push everything forward if I put a little eyeline there it would define it a little more but it would start to push parts back that I don't want pushed back so I'm gonna leave it Mascara time. We're gonna use the bold and sexy black radiant, and we're just gonna put mascara on the ends though. Go down and come up. 
Gonna try and get some bottom lash action here. She's talking about it don't happen to us, but she the one that cheated and shit. And Martin is moving. And his wife cheats on him. He catches her, come gets, confronts her lover about it, and she finds out about it, and then comes home and wants to talk. And he's like, um, I don't want to talk about this. And then so he goes on a case, and she's like, catches him. He's like, I gotta go. I gotta catch a plane to do Mexico or whatever. And she's like, why? And he's like, because I'm in the middle of a case. And she's like, can it wait till tomorrow so we can talk? And he's like, there's nothing to talk about. You cheated, you got caught, happens to everybody. And she's like, not to us it doesn't. I wasn't explaining you to him. I was explaining you to myself. I was trying to remember why. And he was like, I gotta go. And the thing that stuck with me was, how dare you say not to us? This doesn't happen to us. I'm like, one, it just did. And two, you're the one who did it. He's like, whatever, we're moving forward. But she's probably thinking it won't be the same as before because he's caught me. And it's like, no, it won't be the same as before. But you did that. Don't act like he did that. Like, I can't stand when people cheat and then literally want people to stop and act like nothing happened. And then the other one is too. When they cheat, get caught, and they know you know because you confront them about it but then you start acting like nothing happened the one that wants you to fuss and fight and talk about it it's like what are you doing why would you do that why don't you just fight about the dishes like everybody else all right i like that i like the eyelash just at the end even though my eyelashes are different at the end i try to like Hold that one up. But... Ding! I think they're very fall. Hmm? Back up. I didn't back up too far. <laughs> Cheek. Hero. And Fairyland is what I will mix and put on my cheek. Kind of up around the eye. Mmm. I like that. Hi. The reason why I used Fairyland and not just Hero to kind of match the more orange in my eye is because I wanted the orange and the kind of reddishness of Fairyland because I'm going to do a warm red lip. So I have four lips I'm going to put on as a base. Let's swatch all of them. This is Freckle Fiesta. And this is the Supreme Slim in Azalea by Absolute New York. Ooh, that isn't as warm as I always think it is when I'm just using it by itself. That is out. Um, so then you have the precious, precious D2. And then Nika K's Creamy Silk, Scream Silky Stick. And Apple Blossom. Oh, I just, I really like these actually because of exactly, they sound exactly the way they titled them. They're Creamy Silky Stick. So, Mademoiselle is very matte, but it gives a good color that sticks. I'm going to use Freckle Fiesta because of the way it sticks on the lips. And it's honestly the warmest if you really look at it when you see it. The Apple Blossom and Freckle Fiesta are the most similar. But this one's matte and this one's much more emollient. And I think I want something more matte. Freckle Fiesta, you are the winner. I'm also going to change my lip shape again today. I'm going to use Pat McGrath lip pencil and ground control. Mm. 
but we're going to focus less on the cubist bow and more on these corners. There you go. So now I've made it go shook. Okay. Hmm. That's actually cute as it is, but we are not finished. Now we will use that Prince Naveen and layer it on top of Freckle Fiesta. I'm going to bring it back in a little more. And I just soften it. It really emphasizes my lip going that way. Nefertiti. As usual, right there on the bigger nose. Ta-da! Mm. So that's it. That's the end of this. Took a while, and I didn't talk about anything. But I like it. It feels really fall. And, um, really poignant on my face. 